Installation is easy. Extract the file you've downloaded. Inside you'll find a readme file and another zip file. This is the one you'll install in Blender. In the user preferences, you install the add-on by clicking on this button. Next, you select the file you've extracted before and you enable the add-on. In the world settings, you can see all the skies available as previews. So to better see the skies and the lighting in action, let's make a quick uh, demo scene. Uh, so I'm creating very simple shapes uh, so we can see the, the shadows and the lighting on different uh, kinds of uh, surfaces. So like this should be good. Mm, let's choose the first sky and click set sky. Now you can see scene sky has created a new world for you and it's automatically set up. Let's see how it looks once it's rendered. And this looks a bit too bright. So this is because the default material is very, very, um, is almost white. So I'm creating a new material with, um, oops, with a value at 0.6. And now it should look much more like uh, uh, real world materials. And you can see now that the the lighting is perfect, it looks really realistic and you have a very beautiful background, uh, a 360 degrees sky with no ground. In Scene Skies, the skies are organized by weather conditions and cloud types. So if I choose the second sky for example, you have almost the same uh, clouds and weather as the first sky, but this time it's instead of being noon, it's at 6.30 pm. Scene Skies also supports the Blender internal render engine. Uh, enable this checkbox and set the sky again. Two lamps are then created in your scene, one for the uh, sky ambient light and another one for the sun direct light. If you preview the scene in the uh, Blender internal render, render engine and if you see nothing that means your object in your scenes are not correctly set up for BI. So here I disable the nodes and I can see my objects. The lighting is uh, very similar to the HG HDR sky in Cycles. <coughs> and this works for any other sky in uh, Scene Skies as well. Uh, don't forget to turn off your lamps if you switch back to Cycles. In future versions there will be more weather conditions, cloud types and the times of the day. So that's about it. You can download the free version right now if you want. And if you enjoy it, you can also buy the full version to support the development. I know Sinsky is very uh, useful to me and I'm sure it will be very useful to you as well.